in charge of one of the top e-cigarette companies will step down. It comes during a nationwide vaping crisis that involves as many as nine deaths so far. Action 9's Jason Stujinki first drew attention to Juul back in March of 2018, and he stayed on top of this company ever since. He is now talking about their announcement of some sweeping changes. That's right, Erica and Scott. In the beginning, I spoke with experts about this particular e-cigarette as it took over the market. At the time, those experts were concerned because the devices were so discreet, kids could sneak puffs in school. Now, 18 months later, Juul is taking new steps to keep these out of the hands of children. Juul is taking new action in the nationwide vaping crisis. The company's CEO is out. But along with the drastic leadership change, more visual changes the average person may notice. Juul is stopping all TV, print, and digital advertising. There have been nine deaths and 350 cases of severe lung illness in the U.S. linked to vaping. The CDC hasn't zeroed in on any particular product or device. At this point, I think caution regarding all containing uh, all products is re uh, recommended. That's advice from a CDC doctor on Capitol Hill. Standing beside her, Ruby Johnson. She says her 18-year-old daughter had a near-death experience last month after vaping in secret for two years. I'll never forget watching her cry that she literally couldn't breathe without excruciating pain. Her daughter isn't alone. Data shows more than one in four high school students use e-cigarettes. A 17-year-old from Fort Mill, also one of hundreds, who spent time in the hospital because of vaping. One of the scariest feelings ever. Now the FDA is weighing regulations to ban all flavored e-cigarettes, which some say can appeal to children. If those regulations go into effect, Jewel is promising to comply. 